I looked at my watch and I have a little bit of extra time. So I'm like, okay, what can I do next? I wanna show you. I have a few extra steps that you can add if you have extra time, or you can just forget about if you don't. Because, you know, we, we, we look fine with all the little steps that we've done so far. And I'm sure you're looking absolutely beautiful, but I'm sure you looked absolutely beautiful and perfect to head out in the world anyway even with no makeup on. We don't need makeup, makeup is supposed to be fun. But if you do have extra time for a little bit of extra fun, then here are some fun steps. I wanna talk about microwaving. It's gonna sound a little strange, but bear with me. So have you heard of baking? So baking, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically applying kind of a heavy layer of powder, usually along here and underneath the eyes. And it's basically called baking because you leave it to bake. You just leave it on there. During that time, it just creates that really clean line and then you just brush everything off and then you get this like beautiful, bright, clear effect. It actually comes from the drag queen community, which I absolutely love. So it came from that. People pretty much started using it because the Kardashians started using it. A lot of people just use it day to day, but I wanna show you how you can do it in a really quick and easy way microwaving instead of baking. Baking a cake takes like 30 minutes in the oven. Microwaving, you could do a cake in like three minutes. They pretty much both taste like cake. One's probably better than the other, but if you don't have much time, of course you can microwave. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. But first of all, we need an excuse to microwave. And the reason we usually microwave is because we wanna create a clean line after we have contoured. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of my favorite sculpting product. I'm gonna grab the brush that I've been using this entire time, and I'm going to contour. So we have our contour on, and I'm gonna show you guys how to microwave. First of all, I'm gonna grab a sponge, and look at these. I'm going to microwave with some eggs. Look how cute these are. I actually just wanted to use these because I was feeling very spring inspired. I'm really excited for spring. They have that spring vibe. And let's use the yellow one. And um, we're going to keep this dry. Don't use a damp one, we want to keep this dry. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a light pressed powder, so a lot lighter than I would go if I was using a powder to bake. So a baking powder is usually about one shade lighter than your skin because you're going to be leaving on there for quite a long time and then you're gonna be brushing it off so you get a clean line. When you want to microwave, you want the ingredients to just be a little bit more extreme. So I'm gonna go in with the white and then this guy right here, and kind of mix the both of them together. To be honest, the way that I have applied my bronzer, it does look very clean. Let me kind of dirty it up a little bit. Let me just bring this down a bit further. See, there's no strong definition. We want to create strong definition and that's what this is going to do. You're gonna to wanna to feel for the hollow of your cheekbones and then you are going to go underneath that. So feel for the hollow. That's where we want our kind of bronzer and contour to stop. And then just feel for that hollow and feel underneath where you start to feel your cheek. That's where you want to apply your baking product. In this area, just like that. I'm also gonna do just the edge of my nose and also the edge of my eye. I'm gonna squash down the sponge a little bit to create this like lifted effect. And you can also do the edge of the nose. And maybe even the center. Typically you wouldn't bake in all of these places because that might be a little bit too much for you, but you could microwave in those places. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your brush and you're just going to blend that out. And that is essentially microwaving. It basically gives the effect of baking in a much shorter time. It took me like, what, like three seconds of like doing this and then brushing it off. Easy peasy and you got a nice clean line. I love it. I'm then gonna go in with a little bit of setting spray and I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter before the setting spray has time to set. This is also going to bring our skin a little bit more life because of the powder that we've also applied on top of our powder foundation. Extend and then just hit it. I'm gonna take my brush with a little bit of highlighter and before my skin has time to dry, I'm just gonna tap it a little bit on the inner corner. And then I'm just going to let this set while I finish off with my hair and apply some jewelry. So I just took the clips out of my hair, added a little bit of hairspray and added some jewelry, especially little stud earrings. 
do not underestimate the effect that just little studs, any studs that like work with your skin tone, pearls in particular, can just really bring out everything on your face. Like just bring out your eyes, bring out your smile, bring out any little shine that you have on your skin. I did have to go with gold ones today because this is one thing that I always do whenever I'm using particular brushes. If the handle is gold, I just have this weird thing that I have to wear gold jewelry that day because I applied it with a gold brush, so I'm gonna wear gold. Little thing that I like to do. Also, look at this bracelet. It has has little birdies on it, and I love I love birds. I love I miss my birds. But I have two new birds, Clay and Pepper, and we think they're gonna build a nest right outside our living room. So, fingers crossed that they do. But these aren't expensive, by the way. I got these from Pennies. They're super cheap. It, probably everything that's on me right now is probably like four euro they just add so much life to your face when you wear either like a chain that has a little reflection on it or little studs they just make such a difference i'm also going to finish off my lips because i only have lipstick on i don't have my lip liner i always keep my lipstick and my lip liner in my handbag that way if i'm in the elevator i can just like you know fix it up or if i'm waiting for the bus i can fix it up i always just have them there sometimes i'm even trying to do my makeup upstairs in my makeup room and i'm like Everything's downstairs. I have no lipstick up here, but I got my lip liner and I'm just gonna go in with lip liner and I know most people put lip liner on before lipstick, but I actually like doing it after because I can put the lipstick on, I can see the kind of shape and the coloring that I want and I can sharpen up the edges with my lip liner. And then because I have lipstick on, I can very easily roll the lip liner over the lipstick to blend and blur it. Top tip if you want your lips to look bigger, first of all, focus in the center, right? But then make your top lip slightly darker, slightly darker than your lower lip. Don't try to make your upper lip look bigger unless you naturally have like the reverse so that your lower lip is smaller than your upper lip. That's fine, work with that. But if you have maybe a one-to-one -one ratio with your lips, just allow that one to be slightly darker on top and it will make the bottom one look bigger no matter what. It's just the way that the eye works. But yeah, that is pretty much my quick and easy makeup routine. I hope that you learned something from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. And comment something below about what your quick makeup routine is. Anything that you do before you go out, even if it's just like the only thing that I do before I head out of the door is blank. Let me know what that is because I would love to hear all about what your usual routine is. I'm always looking for easier ways of getting myself ready and feeling more put together. So if you have any tips on that, definitely let me know. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in a video really soon.